right? So I have one of about every DI assortment that that radio has. I started two years ago with these and I've decided that uh, sometimes I get a little bit of radio, uh, radio station interference with these. And um, I talked to a few people and I noticed when I use my SGI, it's a studio guitar interface. Um, when I use it, I never have any interference and it's because it's got an active element to it. it you know, you plug it into the wall and whatever's going on on the inside of that thing, it's super quiet. So the problem is I only had one of those. And sometimes if I'm doing two or three guitars at the same time, then what do you do, right? So I've invested in three other DIs. The first one is, and I really hope these have stickers inside of them. This is the radial J48. Now the J48 is active, I believe, right? Isn't this the active one? Yeah, it says active direct box right there. So when I say these are legit, um, unboxing or whatever the word is, um, I mean it because I haven't taken them apart yet. I haven't, you know, like some of those other posers online, you know, they they do all kinds of stuff ahead of time to be, I guess maybe it's to be prepared because now look at this. Now what do I do? Oh, wait, wait, maybe that'll come out. No, that will rip the box. I don't know how the, here, what's this? What's this? Let's see what we got here. Okay, here we go. All right. Okay, now here's the moment of truth. See, that's what you, this is a J48 right there. So again, you get probably a user's guide. I'm catching on, I'm catching on to how they do this. So yes, there's the user's guide. And I will, I will probably read this. It probably will show you some scenarios of how you use it. It has point by point instructions there. That's super good. That show you when you should use it who to call when you set your building on fire. It's got everything you would ever want to know. Oh, instruments too. It shows you how to hook to a keyboard to there. So it's got the user manual and really we know why we've all got it here today, ladies and gentlemen. More stickers. See, the other day when I opened that Earthquaker thing, it only gave me one sticker, one. And and this radial stuff comes with two, so you can put one on your door and then one on your gearbox. See, so that's that's very cool. So, and then, ladies and gentlemen, the reason we've all gathered here today, the J48, and just like every other radial thing I've ever purchased. And I'm not going to talk like I know a bunch about this, but I do have some experience with these. The you know, they talk about the build quality and all that, the weight of it, it's incredible. And the switches, you can just tell when they're in and out. It's great. And I'm not gonna go into the details of the technical aspects of it. I'll let you see that end. And I'll let you see that end. And, you know, you know why you're interested. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go into it. So that's that. We've got the J48 cared for. <clears throat> now let's go to the, the JDI. And um, this is a passive box. So let's see if I can remember from the last one how I'm supposed to get in here without tearing things. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> so this is passive. And honestly, the reason you, ha how I understand it Again, the manual, you know, who to call when your house is on fire. This is the same book, pretty much, it looks like. When they talk about active and passive, when do you need what? I, the advice I've been given by really smart people is that if you're, if you're working with a bass player who has an active bass, then you put a passive DI uh, on them. 
in just the opposite if they if they have a passive base and you put an active di on them <laughs> they're making me so happy i'm up to four stickers now um, and here it is here it is the jdi now this is the only one sometimes you think just because there's a j there's a jensen transformer inside and that is not the case i've learned that that is not the case from that dude that works at Jensen. If you do any searching on these radial things, you'll see that guy he looks a little bit younger than me, but he's still a little bit old fartish, but he's super smart. And he says that uh, this one does have a Jensen transformer in it, but the JDI does not. So just because there's a J does not mean it has a Jensen transformer in it. This one does, however. And I'll let you see, same deal. I'll let you see up close. See, that's what you get on one end. Here's what you get on the other. And you can check out someone else's unboxing for all the technical stuff because I'm really, honestly, I'm the last person you should talk to about that. Okay, now, this one I'm really jazzed about because I've never used a DI like this before and there's been times when I've needed it and I didn't realize that I needed it. This is for, I'm not exactly sure how to say it, piezo or piezo electric picks, pickups. Back in the day, we called them a piezo, right? These days you hear people say piezo, so I, I don't know. But basically the um, impedance that a, a piezo, piezo, a piezo electric pickup wants to see on the other end is different than than other types of instruments or pickups. There's magnetic, there's piezo electric, and what's the other one? Magnetic, piezo. Here I'm getting the. There's that. This is in there too. Same instructions. Um. This tells you on the end of it, so you see the plastic wrap, and, and they're all about the same weight. You can tell that it's the same company. They have this pad on the bottom. All of them have the same padding on the bottom, so if it's on the top of an amp or whatever, it sort of um, decouples it from, uh, from the amp and uh, makes it so it doesn't fall off quite as easy. So here it says, and I'm in a, you can't see it, so just relax, because I'll show it to you. So load, um, you're cl they have classic on here. I have no idea what that means. But you put it on the top, pop, top position. And then the other option, 10, uh, 10 megs, is for piezoelectric connection. So if I'm doing somebody that has a violin or an upright bass with that type, I'd use that. And then the bottom is 220, and that's for magnetic pickups. And you see that in a lot of guitars and stuff like that. So the cool thing about this piece that I, that I really dig about having it, it was $20 more than the other two, or 40 something. It's more than the other two. And these are in their high end. Um, DIs. Um, the thing I love about this is there's more than one situation you can use it for, right? It's tough to pay the extra cash, but it's a little bit like a Swiss Army knife in that regard. So you can see all this stuff. And seriously, I am the, don't listen to me. If you go to YouTube and, and search someone that really knows what they're doing, dude, I can open a box. When it comes to a box, you know, I struggle. I had a little bit of struggle in the beginning, but by the end, I opened that mother. All right, so here's this, the other end of that, right? So you can see, you'll, you'll be able to get a vibe for what these are all about. All right, thank you for watching, and I hope, <clears throat> I hope those critics of mine that have been concerned about my ability to open boxes and show you things that they've been satisfied that I've done a better job of showing you what's actually on the thing that I'm opening. So there you go. This was 10 minutes long. Nobody in the world's gonna watch this.